Hello people, today we are going to see Paint 3D, an amazing application by Microsoft. We are just going to explore the basics of it, uh, mainly stickers and 3D. This is something new in Paint software application arena, I believe. So let's try to create something like this. A uh, very dumb image of a skeleton man holding a hammer with a weird looking cape and the 3D circular faces below okay let's try to do that this is the 3d application paint 3d the two most special menus over here are these 3d and stickers so let's start with 3d first <coughs> these are few of the images that microsoft presents unfortunately my location does not support a concept called remix 3d i still don't know what it is you guys if you have uh, the supported locations i believe you can explore that so let's start i have clicked on man the name of this object is man woman and so and so let's go with man okay now this is your 3d object let's see the different moves it can make the first one is very simple rotation yeah any angle you want and then you have what do you call this upside down rotation I believe okay and then you have vertical rotation but the best part that I like is moving the 3d object through distance you will find this useful when we have more 3d images over here so let's get started now we have a man now let's make him a skeleton man this is where the stickers coming to picture now you have some predefined stickers lines and some objects over here then you have some smileys very good smileys actually and you have what's your textures okay we are not going to use any of these three I have downloaded few images uh, that might be useful for this project so I am going to select from the local memory to do that you select on the fourth option here and click on add sticker that gives you option to browse your computer so I am going to select this skull over here now the skull as a sticker has been pasted to the entire object here you can just click over here and pull it out great now let's reduce the image size that fits right over here still not looking right so yep. okay better okay okay looks weird but this would do so he's our skeleton man <coughs> Now let's give him a hammer. So we go back to 3D images again. Now let's make a hammer. This should be simple. Let's see. Okay. I have selected. Sorry, let me show that again. The 3D image that I took was capsule. Okay. That's not how we are going to use it, but okay. Rotate it a bit. Let's reduce its size. Okay. Now to make this into a hammer, let's select one more 3D image. I believe this should be cylinder. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's rotate accordingly. Okay. Now let me see if I can group these two. Pressing Control. Oh, multi select. This is something I have not seen. Okay. Oh, okay. So this has these two has been grouped together. Now I can use it as a single object. Oh god, this is bigger than the man itself. Okay. Okay. Now here is where the 3D distance moving comes into picture. Okay. Let's see that again. <clears throat> this helps the image, the end image, 
look exactly like a 3D creation where there is a dimensional distance between multiple objects. Okay, now let's fill this. Let's give this handle color. To do that, go to Art Tools. We have a lot of amazing options here. This is much better version of the old paint. Let's go with fill color. Mm -hmm. Let's go with black. Okay. Okay. It's black. Mm -hmm. Let's give the head of the hammer a grayish look. Okay. Can we try to give red dots or something resembling blood? I'm sorry guys, this just came into mind a skeleton man a serial psycho killer. Let's reduce it. Red color. Let's select all paint was all paint. Paint all paint. Nope. Nope. Come on, yeah, I wish. Little thickness. Okay. And let's use some spray can. Where's my spray can? Okay. Use the thickness, please. Okay, we have a skeleton man, we have a hammer, now we need three circular heads. So to get those circular heads, we are going to 3D menu here again. Let's take this circle 3D object known as spear. Okay, this is a proper spear, so we can... Okay. I'm copying this and making it into three. So close 3D objects. One, two, and three. <clears throat> now our objective is to convert these 3D circular objects into a face circular object. So I use stickers again. Select your object, go to stickers, browse through your local memory. I have few of the few of these human images here, which I'm going to use. No, sir, I don't want to there. Drag it out. Okay, the size should be fine. Okay. Let's rotate it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see how it is. No, no. Okay. We will do it this. Okay. Now we convert this object into a black circle. Now where's my image gone? It's not good. Okay. Let's try it on one more circle. Stickers, add sticker, browse, and number two. Perfect. One more. I repeat the steps. Stickers, add sticker, browse, select your image. Pull it out, rotate it, so we want to that is, okay, last one.
okay <clears throat> now let's adjust the distance okay let's have this one at the front you can go back later and you sir and stay okay you have effects options over here this is also a new module here I believe where you can give a theme to your canvas and overall project these are the available effects let's try this okay it looks good this is actually reflecting the image if you can I don't know if you can see it or right over here okay mm, what else shall we try over here let's color him up a bit this is your fill option let's turn him into black object okay you okay, can just give me there's my oil paint oil paint yeah oil brush i'm sorry okay okay this is the weird looking image all i wanted was to just explore the application look uh, this is nothing like the previous version I don't even think this it's the previous previous version the paint the original paint but this is a much better one maybe not as easy as paint but yes this can do amazing things I believe many people are going to upload much more uh, tu tutorials that, uh, that allows you to create amazing objects like penguin I have just uh, browsed through that that's really good so these are the new options that we have I love 3D stickers and the effects option that it gives. I still don't know what this Remix 3D does. I believe it's going to be great. So yes, uh, let me give you the last uh, tip over here. Look at this bar. This is obviously zoom. I'm not going to teach you that. I'm sure you guys know that. You have an option called view in 3D. So this is how your image looks in 3D. To save this image in 3d mode just go to the first option take a screenshot click on that and it allows you to save the image in its 3d entirety let's save it as 3d image okay so yeah that's about the uh, exploration that i have done i'm sure i'm going to try out new things over here and will surely update you guys if I have something really good over here to move on. Thanks for watching. Hope this video helps you in the tiniest and the largest ways. Have a great day. Bye.